And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For our last gauntlet deck today, we're going to be playing a deck that we are calling um, Raiding Party. And that's because that's the expedition name for whenever you play Bilgewater and Freljord together. Uh, that That's the name of those two. And so that, that's uh, where that name came from. Uh, this looks like a, a really fun expedition deck. Definitely my kind of deck. I really like so many of these uh, Freljord and Bilgewater cards. I think they're a whole lot of fun to play. And um, there's a lot of power in here too. Got a good top end. Got good card advantage. We have um, good early game stuff with so many two and one mana cost cards. Um, yeah, kind of have it all. So I think... Feeling pretty good about this. We don't have the thing that we don't necessarily have is like the biggest size units. So like other decks that they curve out have the ability to outclass us. But this is a singleton format with the gauntlet. It's just here to have fun, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's play some raiding party. Yeah, the possession was really really good for us. The previous. Uh, previous deck. It was definitely one of our best cards, um, you know, pairing it with all sorts of our own sacrifice things like Ravenous Butcher and Glimpse Beyond and things like that. It was awesome. Well, we're going to mulligan everything. <laughs> Look for lower cost cards. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm not going to play Pool Shark on turn one. A lot of times, like, I'll play Pool Shark on turn one, um, but... Not in this format. It It's not going to be reliable enough that we have something that costs two. And I'm really glad we didn't. Would have had misfortune. Come closer. I don't bite. Alright. Level up Sejuani and Gangplank. Yeah, and the vulnerable also works well with vulnerable also works well <clears throat> with possession, right? Because you can steal you can steal one of their things, have something else be vulnerable, and you just attack into it. So that's also nice. So I know I don't get a Misfortune trigger, but I like that they don't have anything else to block with besides these two good champions, so that it, they don't want to take all this damage, they gotta be blocking with the champions. Yeah, Sheriff and Hired Gun. Like, that's also pretty nice. Like, give something vulnerable with Hired Gun. Steal something else, attack have them attack into each other. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Not a bad one, not a bad one. All right, gonna go ahead and play Pool Shark. Um, because we probably will get... Okay, so we know we know one of our top two cards is Enraged Yeti, right? Like, that's something we do know. So it's a 50-50 chance whether Enraged Yeti's on top, and that'd be a nice one to hit with Pool Shark. Um, but with that being said, then I would go like Enraged Yeti plus Misfortune. Would I rather just play Abyssal Eye? And I guess the answer is no, I wouldn't rather just play Abyssal Eye. Means that we're probably, I guess we are casting something over this one, two. Okay, well, it was Hired Gun. So I could go Hired Gun Misfortune or Hired Gun Enraged Yeti. Get 
be able to challenge this Kalista. This, just, this doesn't feel that great. I wish I was playing these things first. We kind of have all these in the way. I, I don't know if I really want to attack with these 1-2s. Because they'll just level up Thresh when they die. I guess we still do. I just need to clear them. I need to clear room. There's a good chance that Thresh blocks and goes down to 1 health. And then Parlay kills Thresh. That's something that could happen. I guess maybe trading Misfortune for Thresh wouldn't be that bad of a trade anyway. Maybe I should just be attacking with, with Misfortune as well. Come, stay a while. Uh, cause yeah, that levels up. Love ya. All right, yeah, they're at 11 too. Okay, yeah, I should have just attacked with Misfortune. Well, they've already played three champions, so their options are Jinx or Hecarim. A Hecarim one doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound good. Definitely assume their deck has a whole lot of removal, and so I'm hoping Pilfer Goods can nab some removal for us. That's what I'm hoping. Get our nab on. Witness my Yuck. Okay, well those cards are worthless. And hoping for Jinx, not, not Hecarim. They're playing nice and slow, taking their time. Which isn't always a bad thing, you know, they're probably thinking. Could be a newer player, who knows. Anybody have anything particular they want to see for the bonus games? Yeah. Oh, y'all some bonus games for us getting the sub goal. You know, we got the bonus sub goal a couple of days ago on Thursday. No, I don't, DMB. So
All right, so Hecarim has Overwhelm. Um, blocking with Enraged Yeti doesn't help. So we'll go with this. Be playing Abyssal Eye, and I'm, I'm hoping that Abyssal Eye gets to strike them. I don't think I'm going to play Anivia pre combat. Anivia is a guaranteed. Oh, that's a guaranteed. I was going to say Anivia is a guaranteed plunder trigger. Okay, cool. Down, down to three. Awesome. Now we just gotta do two more damage. We got our warning shot. So I think my plan is play Starlet Seer, then play Shared Spoils. I could use Warning Shot on their turn to level up Sejuani and Gangplank, and also have this be able to turn on Plunder during their turn in case we draw um, something that cares about plunder, which I guess we don't really... We already cast our pilfered goods. That was kind of what I was thinking of. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay, so that's definitely worth to wait. <clears throat> Warning shot, level up Sejuani. And then with the leveled up Sejuani, we'll have um, a Nivea attack trigger, frostbite all their stuff. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Any last words? Yes, you. I don't understand how y'all are saying ladder is stale. Why? Why do you think the ladder is stale? I'm not, I don't, is it because there's a lot of Noxus? A week ago, Noxus wasn't a thing. Like, that's only been, that's only been a deck for a week. Is it Okay. I think that's gonna pass. I think like in in one more week. I don't think you say all you play against is Zombie Anivia, Elusive Burn, and Noxus. I think in one one more week it won't be like that. I mean, I already don't see very much of the Brahm Anivia deck anymore. You just gotta give give some things time. It's just been it's, it's only been one week. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We just got to do two damage. Uh, they are Shadow Isles. Shadow Isles does have a lot of healing. Um, so, you know, it's it's not like we're going to guaranteed win with just a Nivea attack trigger. We can definitely have Withering Whale, Grass the Undying, all that kind of stuff. But it is Singleton, so it's harder to have those things in a Singleton. real question is whether to lead with a Nivea or lead with Yordle Grifter. 
I'm going to lead with Yordle Grifter and create this warning shot so I have that warning shot available. And then we can see what they do. If they have if they have Ruination, they're probably casting Ruination right now. And then I can have Anivia um, post Ruination. Have a mushroom. Have three. All right, probably don't have Ruination. So Nivea Trigger will do two damage. They're at two. And then, yeah, I, I still have these options available as well. <laughs> That's, they just downgraded that slot. Now that thing can't block. It, do, it doesn't matter how, what order we attack. All their stuff's going to be Frostbitten from Glacial Storm. And Sejuani. And this should just be a win. I'm already getting ready to mark it down. We'll see. I'm calling it. Still, I'm going to negative. Negative 11, all of their stuff dies, none of my stuff dies. Okay, GG's. It's kind of a cool combo with the Nivea and Sejuani when you, you know, when you have a leveled up Sejuani, a Nivea trigger, turn it on the plunder, frostbite their stuff. Make it, or, uh, sorry, Misfortune, and does the same thing for a lot, a lot less mana. Okay, Noxus Shadow Isles. It's probably going to be a pretty decent deck. It's a lot of good champions. I'll keep the Grifter. Yeah, I'll just keep Crypto. Crypto is so good. Okay, cool. Obviously, I want to have some things to play early, but it gives me at least a, a, a floor for how bad my hand could be is that I'm at least playing Yorl Grifter on turn four. So that's still a pretty low floor. But that's the floor. Marching over there. I'll take it. Danger paid. Could have used two cards to kill that. Could have used both parlay and make a ring to kill it. Seems like I shouldn't use two cards. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Um. Hey, what's up there, Nut? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We are playing the raid. Uh, we're play playing a gauntlet here. Uh, calling the gauntlet uh, Raiding Party. Aptly named. Basically because in, in the expedition mode, when you play Bilgewater and Freljord together, then that's, that's the name of those two regions together as raiding party. Okay, yeah, I, I like trading. Um, I know their thing was going to die, but I used the make it rain to kill... Um, oh, man, I want to play... I used the make it rain to go ahead and uh, kill their thing so they didn't get to draw two cards. I like them not drawing two cards. Man, I want to play Brittle Steel. Yeah, yeah. You just raided. Just send us the raid, and we're playing raiding raiding party. 
perfect. It is perfect. All right, neither of these targets are that valuable when it comes to Razor Scale Hunter. So I'm not going to I'm not going to play the Razor Scale Hunter to challenge one of those things. I'm going to uh, play this larger elusive and draw a card instead. Explosives brought. Okay. Going wide, but we got some good stuff. All right, I'm gonna calling strike the two one. You can block there. You can block here, and I'm gonna frostbite the four three. And so we'll be taking three total, going down to seven, depending on what they got. Hopefully stabilizing. See the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, we got seven wins in the gauntlet with a deck that I called Shield Wall, because that's Demacia plus Ionia. That deck felt pretty good. Uh, we, we did get seven wins there, went 7-0. Our next deck didn't do so good. And now this is this one. We're just currently 1-0 and oh now. Here's the link to the, the deck that went seven wins. All right, Sejuani. Let me take out the Bacillus Rider, please. <laughs> We're playing against the meta deck. Basically. Basically. <laughs> Gotta stay alive and end this game. Or they can do the seven damage. Just want to check. Okay, we're three out of five for Sejuani. Not that close. Could be Riptide Rex turn. Could be Riptide Rex turn. Yeah, this. I think our deck's pretty strong. All right, GG's. Two and oh. I, I have a feeling we're going to do really well with this deck. It's got everything. It's got really good early game and really good late game. It doesn't have like necessarily the best sizing of units in the mid game, but I think still uh, we got good, some good card advantage too. I like our chances. No Braum. All right, we're just gonna send it all back. <clears throat> this looks better. Um, you know, definitely look for cheap units whenever we're mulliganing. Just like every single deck. Don't love ha having triple four. Either I trade or I don't, and then I take three and I attack back and they block and they take two. So either I could basically just put my life total down to 17 and theirs down to 18, or I could keep us both at 20. And I 
think I like... They're gonna have good late game stuff, but I like... I like this, this hand is geared towards late game stuff. And so we're going to go ahead and block. That could be an important one. Darkwater Scourge. Well, they can't have... Never lost a fair game. Uh, they can't have the combo with that, because the other part is Ionia, uh, Deathmark, to remove the Ephemeral. So Gold Card will just simply get rid of that for good. It's kind of too tempting to play with a Twisted Fate in play. It's like, you're telling me we can draw more cards? Can't pass that up. Draw more cards it is. No, maybe not. Draw more cards later. It's a good draw. Nice trick to have access to. So Twisted Fate's at two. Uh, Babbling Bureau could be three. You own what you take. And even though we don't get vulnerable the next turn, we do have Hired Gun, which can give that thing vulnerable the next turn. Like next turn, I could go Hired Gun and Grom. That sounds pretty good. Worst case scenario is Ruination. I'm not sure if they have it. If they do, it's only a one of. It's not not really that likely in Singleton. Wield your fury. That's why Fury of the North's good. So three out of eight. This lie could be four out of eight. It's risky. They frost by my twisted fate, it dies. Okay, they have Fury of the North. I think that's. I would rather have Twisted Fate die than Sejuani, probably. You know, maybe not because of like the twist that they level up, but it's it's nice having Sejuani as a great blocker. All right, we we'll put a couple of treasures in our deck. Six there, O oh, five there, five five here. I just take four. Let's get 
for. Probably have this. We're obviously just going to go straight to attacks. Have Braum challenge Scar Maiden Reaver again. And attack with all the stuff. Wow. That's lucky. Treasure trove? We don't even need that. But we could use it. Down to three. I don't have room for stuff. What do you got over there? Nah. Let's get rid of this 2-2. Two -two. Pump those up. And now, pump them up again. The fruits of conquest. I think we're doing pretty good. I think our, our hand's better than theirs, most likely, and obviously our board is pretty insane compared to theirs. Okay, that's... That's what had to be the... You know, that's what they had to have to start. Oh no, I only get to draw four cards. We have Miss Siren in, in our deck. Oh my gosh. This is pretty silly. That was a good treasure trove. Yeah, Taskmaster, we don't have Plunder turned on. That's okay. So all of our attacking spells and skills will deal one extra damage. Check the rigging. Burn their sails. <laughs> so I can either go Gangplank or Misfortune and Black Market Merchant, and I'm going to go Misfortune and Black Market Merchant. They just cast Ruination this turn, by the way. <laughs> like, that's, that's the only thing. They played Ruination this turn. Definitely Alpaca Joe. Uh, it is right here. Here's a link. And there you can export for the code from there. Also, anytime you want to see any of my decks, just exclamation point decks, plural. Uh, we'll get you my Mobilytics page with all the decks that we play. Ooh, core deck with the donation deck. All right, Noxus base deck with Lucian and Overwhelm. Okay. Mirror match. Mirror match. All right, sounds good. Thanks, thanks, Cordek. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Good question. Let me know. All right, we'll lead with Champion Misfortune. That's on our sleeve. That's probably why we got the Siren. We're using the Misfortune sleeve. Make 
get interesting on you. Another day, another fight. This is probably me doing too much work. You fool. To get this attack in with misfortune. Oh, that... I didn't... Oh, I forgot about that. <clears throat> wow, I just spent three cards to deal with one. That's alright, I'll be fine. We still got this. Yeah, that was... That was definitely my B. Never lost a fair game. Definitely my B. Only partner. The winter's claw strikes. All right, Bissell I'm kind of relying on you to help get me some more cards back. I would appreciate that. Thank you. That was very kind of you. The winter's claw. Hoping this works. Work. Yeah. Good. No. That's fine. It's unlikely I was going to be leveling up to his fate anyway. Um. Carmen Reaver. Let's do this. All right, we got our Bilgewater elusives. That old strat. Ooh, it's interesting. So when another 3-3 in play, I know we had the plunder turned on for shared spoils. I don't know if I could get anything good going on with this avalanche. So we could find out. We live here. Who's that you got there? A lot of six mana cards, and then three mana. If we play six mana, we basically don't get to do anything else. Attacking with Anivia twice could be nice, with Anivia Citrus Courier. But I suppose the same thing could be said for Scar Mother. It's possible they have Riptide Rex and that grows my Scar Mother to be super big. It's not what I wanted, I was just saying it was a possibility. It doesn't mean I have that. Oh, 
mercy for cowards. <sighs> All right, yeah. Take care, Luna. Take take care. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, so I can attack Flash Freeze. Um, I think my that's my plan is like attack Flash Freeze Courier, and I I hope they don't have like Fury of the North or you know something that kills Scar Mother Verena. That's what I'm hoping. That's a good sign. Good sign. They didn't have anything last time. If they play something that has like a, a lot of health. I guess they don't have anything that has a lot of health. Um. So small, but she ain't lacking courage. No mercy for cowards. Barely got him. All right. Got the win. Scar Mother Verena. Getting the anti Riptide Rex card. <laughs> Riptide Rex turned it from having three, you know what, from having like normally three. Uh, attack into having 12 attack so got that <laughs> yeah our, our oranges were better than theirs <laughs> true in the land of citrus I like citrus I like all these cards. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the five mana champion. It's a good one, but I think I'm Mulligan. And I would keep both of those. Both of those one mana spells are really efficient and uh, really good. And it's not like we have, it's not like we can Mulligan them and likely draw others because it is Singleton. Riptide Rex, I don't want to draw you right now. Get a two drop. <laughs> I'm really glad we mulliganed Gangplank. We, our three cards we've drawn have been five, six, and eight mana. Ooh, Trapper's not bad. I'll go Officer, though. Trapper's good. Play that next turn. After them? After them. The trap is set. Okay, the trap is set. All right, fair Vlad, you too. Thanks for hanging out. All right, I guess I use Brittle Steel to keep them from drawing a card. Yeah, I think I use Brittle Steel to keep them from drawing a card.
And I'm not going to I'm not gonna block this 2-2 because we're gonna kill that 2-2 with Razor Scale Hunter for free. There's blood in the water. It's a yeah, this yeah, but we're doing we're doing the gauntlet, so we're playing until we win seven or lose two, and then um and so it's not but then it's not gonna be the last deck because how it says uh, bonus games from Thursday. Um card's good. From Thursday, uh, we hit the bonus sub goal, and so uh, we're gonna be doing that bonus stream today. And yeah, I know I could have attacked with the Razor Skill Hunter first, and then attacked with the others. I was fine attacking just like that. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Um. Hmm. You own what you take. Let's do this. Cause I wouldn't want to like attack with the four two anyway into those other things. I wanted to just attack with the the three. Anyway. I want to attack with the three ones. I didn't want my four two to trade. Oh man, they're going progress day. Oh man, that is. That's not going to end up good for them if they can't cast anything. We are going to be attacking for a lot. Because we're going to play Enraged Yeti, attack, and then Citrus Courier and attack again. This could go pretty poorly for my opponent. Yeah, GG's. Oh, well, okay. So, never mind. They got, got another blocker. That's good. Yeah, if they did if they didn't have that other blocker, the game was over. They didn't have that zero mana card. You're between me and glory. But they saved that five life. So they have survived. For now. Yeah, good old triple attack. Um, so I don't get to do anything. This is just a seven-seven. I think it's I think it's good playing a seven-seven. I don't know about y'all. The seven-seven sounds pretty good. It's like, yeah, sure, I could I could draw two cards, but the 7-7's seven, a lot, and yeah, as we see there, it's a better blocker against this 4-5. I would have blocked Sejuani to be able to kill that. Oh, thanks, Noise. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, went 7-0 with Shield Wall. Are we 5-0? Or is that just 4? It kind of looked like that was 5. Maybe I'm off one. It is 5? That was, that was 5? Everybody's saying 5 in chat. Yeah, it briefly looked like 5. Okay, so it looks like I'm off one. Okay, the third one I didn't count. I guess I didn't like that one too much. Right, playing V Burn. Hired Gun Brawl. Cool, alright, 5 and 0. Oh. Yeah, the shield the shield wall deck had some super powerful cards like the unyielding spirit, for example. Like that card was insane. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I think this deck's really good though too. Like it just has good stuff everywhere. 
both both decks are good. As you can tell how weird 12 and 0, I guess. That's kind of obvious that both decks are good. <clears throat> Poor Timo. Timo doesn't deserve to be on the bounty board. I'll try anyone. Hey, <laughs> yeah, unyielding. Unyielding Spirit on Zed, that was awesome. Yeah, we just went turn five on Yielding Spirit. On on a Zed and And yeah, just gr grinded him to dust. I know, I know, I'm the I'm the bad guy, kill killing Teemo. Poor adorable Teemo. I definitely like this art. This is my favorite. Like this art. Timo just looks so satisfied, so happy with life. Looking for trouble? It found you. So we're not blocking Crimson Curator. We will be blocking the Disciple. I know what I'm doing. Look what you. Uh, I could double spell with Merchant and Ruthless Raider, and then having Merchant in play would help out Yordle Grifter the next turn. The problem with Braum, of course, is it would uh, trigger Crimson Curator twice. Maybe the play is to go the two two drops and nab something. Yeah, I don't I don't really care for that joke noise. I'll be damned. Leave nothing standing. Okay, not bad. Eh, actually, kind of bad. I'm probably not going to want to cast it, because I don't want to have the caustic casks uh, make me lose life. But at least they're not going to cast it, I suppose. So yeah, that does sound kind of bad. That's not exactly what the kind of card that we want. If they don't break, a card that we don't plan on casting. Make the Empire proud. Yeah, you don't want to no, we missed. That was too good. We did draw a couple of... No, because that was a Frelior card, so... Darn. We march as one, an unstoppable force. That's a good card. That's a good card. Now I can't block Crimson Curator. Do we go Hunter or Braum next turn? I feel like this might be our first loss. Kind of going a constructed deck over here. Teemo into Crimson Disciple and a Crimson Curator. And then, yeah, you know, then removal for misfortune. And then these cards. I feel like this may be our first loss. No one's the wiser. I guess that took a while to figure out to play their card to attack. I don't want to take the three damage. Damn it. I will sacrifice Black Marker Merchant to gain three life. Uh, 
Braum lets me play Averrosen Sentry also. So I'm gonna go that route. Hunter kills the Curator. But I'd rather. I want a double spell. Oh, Gauntlet ruins the deck tracker stuff. Yeah, because yeah, because you have 40 cards in decks. Yeah, you can't really have the deck list on there. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. How do they have another? Oh, Crimson Curator created that. Man, that's pretty lucky. The best Crimson card. They got two of them. It's just oh my gosh. Is that all? That's pretty lucky. First we fight, or we are best. Seize the opportunity. Better not just have transfusion also. Oh, please. But I'm rich. It's yours. Okay. So that's turn six. Probably, you know, go shipwreck hoarder. Man, they still just keep on coming. This turn, and then maybe warning shot Riptide Rex the turn after. Uh, unless we draw something where we can go, go like Razor Skill Hunter plus something else, depending on what we draw. If we draw something a little cheaper. It's not the worst card I've seen. We could also do that warning shot courier. Um, if we need to gain three life. Yeah, like we're, we'll win a long game. It's just basically can, can my opponent kill us before that? Cool. Well, I'll, I will take that. That's no damage on me. So I will absolutely take no damage on me. So now I feel pretty confident about this game. Especially with having the courier. Just a little bit ago, I was not nearly as confident. Good job, Alfredo. You just got your seven wins. Way to go. So this would do five damage to them and put them down to eight. Which is an unfortunate number because these things are both attacking for seven. Maybe this play was a little too hasty. Because this isn't going to kill them. And now I don't have a way to turn on plunder for courier. I mean, put them down to one. I'd have the salesman, but I got to watch out. House Spider. Give him double block. It's like, bad news is they can block them both. Good news is that's not a card that kills me. And as long as they have cards that don't kill me, we win. That's a card that kills me. Thankfully, we drew harsh winds. So, I'll be good. Yeah, we've drawn four, four of our five buff gaps. <laughs> the powder monkey laughing at poor Darius. Guessing a 6 2. Um, what would they have to have? Like, if this was Decimate, and then they'd have to draw a spell that does. And then 
Yeah, so basically what, what could happen is that could be Decimate, we draw our Puff Cap, so then we go down to two and they draw Mystic Shot. So that's how we could lose. Well, it looks like they're just roping in, you know, the fun free version of the game with the gauntlets. No, like I said, so it could be Decimate, Mystic Shot, and I draw Puff Cap. <laughs> so, requires a lot. That's something they could have. Yeah, definitely, Alfredo. Yeah, you can always you can always share deck lists and everything. That's always okay. Nothing. <laughs> Earlier today, some guy wrote so much I just surrendered because I got bored. Yeah, especially with it's just free mode. You can see that. <laughs> Alright, final battle. Six and O. Oh. We only get one shot. <clears throat> Here we go. Our one shot at another 7-0. Shadow Isles, Ionia. They're probably going to have a bunch of good stuff. Usually, like, if, it, if they were going to be a more aggressive deck, I would keep Brittle Steel, but I don't think they're going to be that aggressive of a deck. Um, I don't really want to play turn one Pool Shark. Just high probability of the card doing nothing. Oh, we would have got Warning Shot. I could have played Warning Shot. Uh, that's fine. We'll just wait. Okay, okay. Petty Officer, pretty good. I'm gonna get Trapper down though and look for one mana 5-5. Five five. Card that I want to play, one mana 5-5. Five five. Not loving this. That's good. It's tough beating turn two Elise, turn three Zed. That is not. That is not an easy combination to over overcome. I was pretty scared that was going to be Twin Disciplines <laughs> after I just had my Avaros and Trapper kill one of their 1-1s. One nice. Omen Hawk going to give me a, a one mana 6-6. Six, six. I don't think I want a red card. Not a one mana six six yet. So we go blue card, and then we draw the six six. I don't think I red card. Thrash. 
They're killing it over here. into Zed into Glimpse Beyond plus two other things uh, into Thresh so unfortunately that Thresh will be killing Twisted Fate and still have four health Citrus Courier just doesn't really do a whole lot for me. You know, I could could go Black Market Merchant, but that also doesn't... I mean, maybe we find something for Thresh. I'm kind of saving Warning Shot for Tusk Raider. It's going to be 1, 2, 3... this I don't like this at all Tread carefully I don't like this at all Some way to kill Thresh. I don't know if I have that. That's what I need. I would like that flash freeze. Alright, keeping Thresh from leveling up. Now Thresh will level up. It's just how it goes. But we'll we'll play the tusk. Something the matter. Play the tusk rider. Their board is still full, so if they want to play new things, they take down the Spiderlings. And Tusk Raider will go grab a Sejuani, which Sejuani is going to... We're going to have to play Sejuani over the... Um... Pool Shark. But... 10-12 Sejuani, that could take down Thresh. I don't think they're just chilling with ruination. Like they didn't play anything last turn. They had like all their mana and just didn't didn't spend it. Yeah, a lot of cards over there. Lots of cards. Maybe I should have blocked the curse keeper because of ruination. Hmm. Okay, well. 
Well, don't have to worry about. Uh, probably that means no ruination, because I think you you would keep that if you you would keep the curse keeper if you had ruination. Okay, so they had that's their second half was aristocrat. They had the other one because of. They had the other one because of the Warden's Prey that died that created a Last Breath unit. That's how they had the other one. I guess this, is, this Spider Queen Elise is still kind of scary. I don't want to go the 10 12 overwhelm because they they are incentivized to use removal you know like a vengeance or something like that. I'd rather them use that. I feel like like this plays around like twin disciplines protecting that. All right, well, this is great news for us that all of this just happened. Now are they going vengeance? Or sorry, not vengeance. Uh... Okay, so they have that combo. I was gonna say ruination. Say so now are they got ruination? Man, if I only had that right before. Yeah, let's, let's not let that happen. That doesn't sound cool. Got a misfortune emote that. Alright, then if this parlay happens, that's damage to them. Citrus Courier turned on. be attacking. Alright, got that 7-0. Perfect steal with Black Market Merchant. The, uh, couldn't get, you know, just couldn't get any better than that Will of Ionia. That was perfect. That was also like the the first time that I really did something amazing with Tusk Raider. Tusk Raider was really good, of course, and uh, that was the first time that I really got to do a cool Tusk Raider thing. <laughs> um, I mean, they had, they had Elise in play, so I'd use my Elise emote. Uh, all right, so there we go. So another 7-0 for the Singleton Gauntlet. I really like this deck, as, as I talked about even before we played this, I thought it was going to be really good. Um, there's just so many, you know, so many good cards with Freljord and Bilgewater that you can really fill out an entire 40 card deck and not have any cards that, that you don't like. Um, probably my least favorite card in the whole deck is, is probably actually the Dreadway. Um, like if, you know, if you don't have like a Dreadway, it's an epic. Feel free to, feel free to change that one out. That's, that's probably my least favorite card in the deck. Um, and we never cast it this game. Never needed it. You can play something else. Another three mana card wouldn't hurt. Or, you know, two or less. Um, but, 
more good success here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Try this deck out in the gauntlet if you you know if you need a, a 7-0 deck, try this one out or try the shield wall. Either one of those or yesterday's battle scars. Got a lot of comments over on YouTube of a lot of people getting seven wins with that. And some people said that they did that um, also. But anyway, that's it here for um, our uh, for our last gauntlet of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.